tornadoes. They twist, they roar, and they can devastate. In the U.S., they love a particular area known as Tornado Alley. This region includes parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. These states see the most tornadoes each year, but the exact boundaries of Tornado Alley are shifting. Why are these places such hotspots? It's all about geography. Warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico meets cold, dry air from Canada and the Rocky Mountains. This clash of air masses creates perfect conditions for tornadoes. Add in the jet stream and you have a recipe for disaster. But tornadoes don't just stick to the US. Other countries like Canada, Bangladesh and Argentina also see their share. These places might not have a formal tornado alley, but they experience similar conditions leading to twisters. Globally, tornadoes are less common, but no less dangerous. Understanding where they hit helps us prepare and stay safe. So let's dive deeper into the world of tornadoes and learn more about these powerful storms. A tornado is a rotating column of air. It stretches from a thunderstorm to the ground. They are rated on the enhanced Fujita EF scale, from EF0 to EF5, based on wind speeds and damage. But how do we define a tornado? It's more than just a spinning wind, it's a complex weather event, it starts with a thunderstorm. Inside that storm, warm, moist air rises. At the same time, cold air sinks. This creates instability. A strong updraft begins to occur. The updraft starts to spin because of wind shear. Wind shear is when wind speeds and directions change with height. This spinning updraft is the heart of the tornado. Once the rotation begins, a tornado can begin to form. It stretches toward the ground, creating a funnel cloud. When that funnel touches down, it becomes a tornado. The stronger the updraft and rotation, the stronger the tornado. They are amazing to watch, but they're also deadly. The tornado will continue as long as the updraft feeds it. When the updraft weakens, the tornado dissipates. From creation to destruction, a tornado can last minutes or hours. It's a powerful process driven by the forces of nature. Not all tornadoes are the same. They come in different shapes and sizes. The most common type is a supercell tornado, which comes from a supercell storm. Cone or stovepipe tornadoes are another common and strong type of tornado, followed by weaker rope tornadoes. Even though rope tornadoes are usually weaker, they can still cause damage. Then we have wedge tornadoes. These are the giants. They can be more than a mile wide, and they are often the most destructive. They have powerful winds and can flatten entire neighborhoods. Another type is the water spout. These form over water. They look like thin, spinning columns stretching from clouds to the water surface and are a sight to see. But be warned, as they move onto land, they become tornadoes. They're usually weaker, but can still be dangerous. Finally, there's the fire tornado. These form during wildfires when intense heat creates a spinning column of air. They're rare but incredibly destructive. Each type of tornado has unique characteristics but all share the same basic formation process. Tornadoes are rated by their strength. The enhanced Fujita, or EF scale, helps us understand this. An EF0 is the weakest, with winds from 65 to 85 miles per hour. It can damage roofs and break branches, but it's usually not life-threatening. Next up we have the EF1 with winds from 86 to 110 miles per hour. These tornadoes can flip cars and tear off roofs. EF2 tornadoes are stronger, with winds from 111 to 135 miles per hour. They can destroy mobile homes and uproot trees. EF3 tornadoes pack winds from 136 to 165 miles per hour. They can level entire houses. Moving on to EF4 tornadoes with winds from 166 to 200 miles per hour. These are incredibly powerful. They can destroy well-built homes and throw cars like toys. The strongest are EF5 tornadoes where winds exceed 200 miles per hour. They can obliterate buildings and even strip asphalt from roads. A famous EF5 was the Joplin tornado in 2011. It killed 158 people, injured over a thousand people and caused $2.8 billion in damage. Each level of the EF scale shows the potential for destruction, understanding this helps us prepare and react when tornadoes strike. When a tornado is coming, safety is crucial. If you're at home, go to the lowest level, a basement is best. If you don't have one, go to an interior room without windows, bathrooms, closets or hallways can work. Cover yourself with a mattress or heavy blankets. If you're outside, find shelter immediately, go to a sturdy building if you can. If there's no shelter nearby, lie flat in a ditch or low spot and cover your head with your arms. Avoid cars and mobile homes, they're not safe in a tornado. 
And remember to stay away from windows and avoid overpasses. They can become wind tunnels, making flying debris more dangerous. Keep a weather radio or phone with alerts. This helps you stay informed. Knowing where to go and what to do can save your life. Preparation is key. Have a plan and practice it with your family. This way, everyone knows what to do when a tornado warning is issued. Being prepared and safe can help reduce injuries and fatalities during these powerful storms. Schools have tornado drills for a reason. If you're at school, follow the teacher's instructions. Go to the designated shelter area. This is usually a basement or interior hallway. Again, stay away from windows and doors. Sit on the floor and cover your head with your arms. If you're in a large building like a mall, find an interior room on the lowest level. Avoid wide open spaces like gymnasiums or auditoriums. They have weak roofs that can collapse. Follow the building's emergency plan. Knowing what to do in different settings can save lives. Tornadoes can strike anywhere so being prepared in all environments is essential. These safety tips can help you navigate tornado threats no matter where you are. Tornado Alley is known for its tornadoes but it's not static. Climate change and shifting weather patterns are moving Tornado Alley. States like Tennessee, Mississippi and Alabama are seeing more tornadoes. This area is sometimes called Dixie Alley. Why is this happening? Warmer temperatures mean more energy for storms. The jet stream is also shifting. This alters storm paths. As a result, tornadoes are appearing in new places. This shift means more people need to be aware and prepared. This change also affects building codes and emergency plans. Areas not used to tornadoes will now need to build stronger structures, and they will need better warning systems. Emergency responders need training for tornado situations. Tornado Alley is changing. Understanding this helps communities adapt. Being prepared for tornadoes no matter where you live is critical. This way, we can reduce damage and save lives in the face of shifting tornado patterns. The U.S. isn't the only place with tornadoes. Canada sees many tornadoes, especially in Ontario and the Prairie Provinces. Their tornado season is from June to August. In 1989, the Dalatpur Saturia tornado killed around 1,300 people in the Maniganj district of Bangladesh. It's one of the deadliest tornadoes on record. Argentina has a region known as the Pampas. It's like the Tornado Alley of South America. Tornadoes here can be strong. Europe also sees tornadoes, especially in the UK, Germany, and Italy. These tornadoes are usually weaker but still dangerous. Tornadoes are a global phenomenon. Knowing where they occur helps us understand their impact. But remember, tornadoes don't respect borders, they can strike anywhere. There are a few myths surrounding tornadoes. A common myth is that you're safe if you see a tornado moving away, but tornadoes can change direction quickly. So always take cover, even if the tornado looks like it's moving away. There's also a myth that opening windows equalizes pressure and prevents damage. This is dangerous. Opening windows can let in debris. It's better to stay in an interior room and protect yourself from flying glass. Lastly is the misconception that you're safe if a tornado seems still. If it looks like it's not moving, it's likely coming straight at you. This illusion can be deadly. Always seek shelter if you see a tornado. And use the safety tips we previously mentioned. Knowing the facts can save lives and reduce injuries. Tornadoes are a fascinating yet terrifying force of nature. They demand respect and preparation. By understanding them and following safety tips, we can reduce their impact. Tornadoes may be unpredictable, but our response doesn't have to be. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more safety and survival tips. Have you lived through a tornado? What measures did you take to stay safe? Let us know below in the comments section. And until next time, stay fearless and prepared, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.